we are back with an encore. I think this is actually the only encore we have in the cell and it's not even complete. But um, yeah, we are back today. We said last week it was going to be our final consignment update, but we had a really good batch of things that came in just after we did the video um, that we weren't necessarily expecting. So we thought we've got to do one more. And what happens in an encore? Leave the best stuff till last. So. <laughs> And we pro this probably will be some of the best stuff in the auction. So it's going to be quite a short one because it's not a lot of stuff, but um, we'll quickly get through it. Um, and one last song for you all. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what we got coming up. So let's check them out. So we've had a really good batch of Gibsons that have come in. And this cell is all about flying Vs. Where's my last catch? There we go. And we've already got one of these in from the Bernie Marsden collection. But the other one in the walnut finish. So this is a 1980 Gibson Flying V V2. With the boomerang pickups. But this is in amazing condition. And you see the maple body. Got the bird, slight light bird's eye maple grain there. And yeah, it's a it's a really good example, good original example with the original case. I mean, it looks brand new, doesn't it? It does look brand new. If 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 I was told that this was made only a couple of years ago, I would believe them. But this was made 43 years ago. A little bit of tarnishing on the gold, but a really good honest example. And another flying V. Now this one is not going to be for everyone, it's from the HP series and the biggest downside for people are well, the robot tuners which were a, divisive. well, <laughs> yeah, a divisive thing, bit of a gimmick. Um, most people take them off, this still has them, so this is still in its original state. Uh, but this is a 2016 Gibson Flying V Pro HP um, wine red finish. The streamlined knobs, um, like the like the classic classic early Vs, but with the stop bar, um, some high output pickups. This guitar does sound great, um, and it's got the it's got the through neck with the um, oh, the yeah the, the heel's really strange, isn't it? Yeah, it's got the the offset heel so you can really get up to the, the top end. frets yeah it certainly is a dusty end with me but um <laughs> there we go uh so that is a another good example um there's a bit of there's a few marks on the heel but apart from that it's uh in good condition and another cool last minute gibson that's come in so here we have a really cool les paul and this is a Mark Bolan aged and the serial number falls within the first 25 of the 100 aged examples that were made. So they made 450 of these altogether. So 350 vintage old specification VOS and then 100 of the aged ones. So this is in, within the, like I said, within the first 25 serial numbers. Um, and the guitar is based on Mark Boland's um, classic Les Paul. So it's all been copied, including the aging. Now, people believe that Mark Boland's Les Paul was a mid, mid 50s, around 57 gold top Les Paul um, with the humbuckers in. It's got what's called this shabbly finish, and it was married together with a uh, Les Paul custom neck, as you will see. Black finished Les Paul custom neck, block inlays, uh, the custom tuxedo headstock, 
Um, so it's a it's a it's a bit of a different look, isn't it? You know, a Les, Les Paul standard with a custom neck, essentially. Um, but yeah, it is thought that his original was a fifties humbucker loaded gold top um, refinish with this shabbily finish. But yeah, Gibson Custom, um, they did these. Um, and yeah, as a, as a replica. And as I've said before, anything artist related, uh, limited edition numbers, they do tend to be a good investment. So um, this is a, a good example in very good condition and it could be a very good investment. Um, and another lovely thing that's come in for the September auction. And another limited edition Les Paul. So this is a Gibson custom shop again, collector's choice. This is the uh, collector's choice number 10, the Tom Schultz model. So this is uh, a copy of Tom Schultz, uh, the Boston guitarist's um, 68 Les Paul. So again, it would have originally been uh, 68, so it would have been gold top again. But this has got the the antique natural finish, again aged accordingly, meticulously scanned. Um, so again, these were made in in very limited numbers. Um, so you've got a super distortion Demarcio to the bridge, which sounds amazing. We were testing this guitar out yesterday, and it sounds it sounds incredible. And what a combo to have a high output humbucker pickup with a nice creamy sounding P ninety in the neck. Creamy. <laughs> yeah, just a an amazing combo. Possibly couldn't get a better combo. Um, apart from maybe just a high output single humbucker in the bridge and just one volume knob. That is the best <laughs> combo. <laughs> if you disagree, yeah. tell him in the comments. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> Change my mind. Um, but yeah, we all have our own opinions, don't we? So yeah, really nice combo there with the two pickups. So you get a lot of variation. Um, and as with Tom Schultz's guitar, you've got the shallow, the shallow tuners there. And you can see the collector's choice stamping. And there it is with his original case. It's got all the tags, it's got the certificates, but it is a, a great sounding. And again, um, one of those guitars, limited run Gibsons that have proven to be investments over the years. And we have another Les Paul. This one is a 2011 R9. So Gibson Custom Shop, 59 reissue, nice big neck, iced tea finish, nice and flamey, generally in very, very good condition. There are some minor dings. There's a tiny bit of tarnishing on some of the metalware but it's a good looking guitar. Um, actually, we put this up on Instagram and a lot of people were really, yeah, really falling for that top. So yeah, good, good example, good specs, big neck. So if you want a 59 reissue, a good, good example, it's got the case, it's got all the papers. Um, there it is, nice thing. Are we bored of Les Pauls yet? So I think this is the last Les Paul we're gonna finish, uh, feature today. But what a way to finish with the Les Pauls. So we've, you saw the black one, I think we featured that in last week's video, or maybe the one before. Um, you can't remember, we had, <laughs> yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure it was last week's video. So we had a 7475 Les Paul Custom. So this is a 1973. Les Paul Custom. So we've got the usual annoying serial number from that period that spans multiple years in the 70s. 
but the potentiometers of 1973 and we have the patent sticker pickups which finished in 73 before they went to the stamps going into 74 so yeah 1973 lesbo custom in cherry sunburst which is I mean, lesser spotted i think for lesbo customs we've seen I mean, I've actually seen more white ones, which is my favourite colour for Les Paul Custom, than I have um, had have the Cherry Sunburst from this period, or certainly seen we, we've sold more. Um, and obviously, you know, the black finished ones are the ones we get most often, but yeah, this is a nice example, although it has had a neck repair. So we've had a neck repair of some refinishing here. It's been really well done, a um, really professional job. Um, so it's going to be hard to pick, hard to pick out that neck repair. I mean, you can see it see it in the flesh. Um, and we've got we've got a replaced bridge, tunematic, and we've got um, pickup covers removed, as you'll see. But everything else, all good, including the case. So it's a nice player's example, and it's not a bad weight either. Just gonna have a look at a couple of acoustics and we'll keep on Gibson for now. So here we have an SJ200 standard, uh, natural finish. This one's from 2014. And there we go, look at that maple. So um, Gibson Acoustic were making phenomenal guitars around this period with, um, you know, really choice nicely grained woods so we've got really nice figuring on this with the spruce top all natural there's a few dings to it um got the usual fishman eclipse aura pickup inside so that's all stock and yeah it's a good example with a case so another nice gibson for you all so this is a limited edition uh, martin Made in 2015, this is the LE Limited Edition Cowboy. And with the um, Sagebrush C watercolour design uh, by artist William Matthews. So that's on the spruce top. And yeah, we, had, we actually had one of these in the last cell um, from the same seller. So he had two, so he's, he's selling his next one. Um, same collector. And yeah, if you're into your into your cowboy chords and Martin guitars, or your Western films, give me a better combo. <laughs> that's the perfect combo. <laughs> yeah, and it's just a. Uh, I think guitars can be art as well, can't they? So well, a most nice. People buy them for that reason, don't they? They do. Yeah, I mean, there's some people that that don't play guitar. Um, I'm not saying this isn't a good guitar as well. Of course it is, but you know, if you want something to look good on your wall as well, if you're into the whole cowboy western thing then there you go oh that case keeps going <laughs> um just trying to keep you on your toes yeah so here we have a mid-70s ovation the axe so a lot of you will think this is a breadwinner but it's not it's a deacon there are some slight differences um these sound just put aside what they look like for now i actually quite like them but then i like things that are a bit different and out there hence why i like flying v's hence why i like gibson explorers um this is probably even more out there but you know i do i do quite like them but anyway split decisions on what they look like they do sound incredible um there's so much variation um, for tones, um, the pickups sound great. They're really well-made guitars, uh, made in the mid '70s by Ovation. Um, I think this serial number puts it between '73 and '76. Um, I haven't quite delved deeper to find the exact year, but I'm sure we'll find out on the pots as long as they're original. Um, and we got a few issues. We've got the old, the old hammerhead. It's had a, it's been off at some point. That's been repaired, and then we've got a minor 
issue on the corner of the guard there but otherwise it is generally in good condition so we're moving on to something from Fender and this is one of the best strats I've ever played and that's not the salesman in me at all this really is one of the best strats I've ever played um, and it's going to be a preference thing because it's about the neck profiles about what they sound like and you know what what this what the sound does for the individual but it's also a cool limited edition iconic guitar so this is the Nile Rogers Hitmaker from 2014 it's a Fender Custom Shop teamed up with Nile Rogers to recreate his iconic Hitmaker Strat with all the correct aging I've got the Hitmaker plaque there limited edition numbers I don't actually know yet haven't looked into it how many they made let us know in the comments if you know um, but they are marketed as limited edition so we're going to assume that they only made a certain amount um, can't argue with that really can't argue <laughs> with that so um, again a limited edition artist associated guitar the hit maker Nile Rogers uh, the mirrored guard the big uh, Gibson type knobs but it does sound how you want it to sound um, straight into those funk rhythms but it does everything so it's got it's, it's based on um, I think Noel Rogers guitar was a 1960 Strat um, but this has got a this has got a sort of a 50, they call it a 57 style body with the aging a 50s style neck um, but really comfortable to play um, everything's high end on it it's really well made uh, it's got the case it's got the accessory packs got the papers and it is how it was when it was new so another amazing Fender custom shop in the sale nice so the sale is now complete based on what we've got in this case None we're closed to we're definitely closed and we don't need any more because we have the best we say we always say we have something for everyone And here we go by Washburn, the Disney Hannah Montana guitar. And there we go. One Something for everyone. <laughs> the sale is now complete. For your, well, for you or your child. Short scale guitar, Hannah Montana or Miley Cyrus, as we all know. There it is, the Disney Hannah Montana cell complete. So I couldn't finish the video really on that last guitar, which is why I'm holding this again. So um, this is the 58V um, that we've got coming up in the auction, just having one final look at it. There we go, with its original case. So we will be having a video released of our Jack playing this guitar. Um, so we've got a, a, a special video coming out showing this guitar and what it does. Um, so that'll be coming out uh, next week. So the full catalog for the sale is imminent. It, all I'm gonna say is it's coming out in the next couple of days because it might even be today, but it might not be, it depends. We're, we're very, very close to the finish line. We've got to do a few final checks we may um, being Friday with the end of the week we may bring put the catalogue out today if not it, it will be Monday next week so just watch this space uh, the catalogues auctions.gardenerholgate.co.uk you can go on there to register and bid view the whole catalogue request your condition reports please do that if you're bidding guitarauctions.com you can also go to if you're more familiar with that website um, please follow us on all our social media channels, Instagram at Guitar Auctions, Facebook as well. You'll find us there, Guitar Auctions at Gardner Holgate. And of course, we're on, we're on platforms like TikTok as well. Obviously, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon because you will get notified of all the video demos. We've got 
I think around 22 video demos, including this guitar, including guitars from the Bernie Marsden collection. So have a look at those. Um, yeah, catalogue coming very, very soon. And this really, really is, this was the encore and we're not doing a second encore. The curtain's going down. We promise, because <laughs> nothing else is coming in now because the catalogue is just about to go online. So we're done. Um, we've got just over 1,600 lots with the auction taking place on the 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th of September 2023. And yeah, we will see you there next month. Register, bid. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all. Uh, public viewing is on the Monday of the sale week and the Friday before, so you're all welcome to come down. But please do ask for condition reports if you cannot bid in person. Uh, we are more than happy to do them. We're very, very honest with our opinions. Um, and we can even give you an idea, myself and Chris can give you an idea of playability and things like that. So um, yeah, we will be back then. We got some great things and I hope you enjoy the video demos and we will see you very soon.